The biggest purchase most people will ever make is buying a home, and even if you save up for years, you'll probably still have to take on some serious debt. In most countries, buying a home is usually presented as the only credible option for someone wanting a happy, settled, successful life. There's a culture hopelessly devoted to homeownership. However, as the property market has spiraled out of control, in the late 1990s, the average house was five times the average salary, whereas now it's ten times that and rising. More and more people, especially young people, are questioning this. These days, people look for viable alternatives because they have learned that investing in real estate has a lot of caveats, not the least of which is cost. Of course, there are also many advantages of homeownership too. For instance, owning your own home gives you pride of ownership, freedom to decorate, a sense of stability, and garden to your heart's content, and a fantastic place to entertain friends and raise children. Nonetheless, issues such as lack of flexibility, cost, more responsibility, and heavy workloads have made people seek out other options. RV. When you think of an RV, what comes to mind? If you think of those rickety beige trailer buses from the 70s, think again. Today's RVs often share more in common with luxury homes than trailers. Most of them include enormous slides, rooms that slide out of the main section to create a spacious, multi-room home when parked. From jacuzzi tubs, fully equipped kitchens, queen-size beds, and comfortable bathrooms to any other amenity you can ask for, RV living is whatever you want it to be. If you don't have a ton of cash but require a place to live, you can always buy an older RV and renovate it over time. It may not be ideal for some, but for others, it could truly be just what you've been searching for. So, if you browse the internet, you may find many stories of how individuals have taken old motorhomes and made them their perfect homestead cabin. Even if you don't want to live in it forever, it could still be a decent temporary fix until you save up to build something a little better. Renting an apartment When people cannot find an affordable home or don't want to own a house for some other reason, they generally rent an apartment. Even though the cost of doing this used to be fairly low, the truth is, at this time, apartment rents are higher than they've ever been. And this is because a shortage of homes on the market can cause prices to increase and create a glut of people needing to find alternative housing options. The upside of renting an apartment is most one-bedroom, one-bath rents are in the $1,000 per month range. These costs come in addition to deposits for the first month, last month, electricity, security, and telephone service. However, in some of the bigger cosmopolitan areas, rents for a one-bedroom are running more than $2,500 per month. Moreover, what you pay to rent doesn't create equity, meaning that you have none of the cash you spent once you have paid your rent. As a result, renting can end up costing more than homeownership in some situations. Tiny Homes Tiny house living has become all of the rage lately. Multiple people are flocking to it because they have all the amenities that they would find in typical size homes, only with less square footage. Tiny homes buck the idea that you require three bedrooms and a garage to be happy. While a typical American home is around 2,600 square feet, a tiny home is usually 400 square feet or smaller and is usually on wheels to ensure transportability. You can pull them behind your car like a trailer. The average cost to build a tiny house yourself is about $23,000, but it could be much more depending on the size, materials used, and your construction know-how. One tiny house owner said they ended up spending around $50,000 on his tiny home, which they went with to maintain flexibility in a transitional time of life, lower cost, lower commitment to a place given that it can move with me. Boxable Homes We buy many things out of the box these days, but what about your home? We've all been so conditioned to believe that homeownership means a 30-year mortgage and 2,600 square feet to call our own. Still, this way of thinking has seen homeownership become very unattainable. And for those who do jump in, you waste years of your life figuring out how to afford your home. The internal struggle is real. Do I save money for a house deposit or do I invest my money in life experiences and travel before I settle down? However, if I travel, it's going to put me behind on being able to afford a home. The solution is a tiny home movement, a lifestyle choice to downsize and simplify, with the significant financial advantage of more time and freedom to enjoy life. A new name on the scene is Boxable, a company selling ultra-modern folding houses built in a precision factory environment, from cutting-edge materials filled with the latest technology. These box homes are delivered right to your backyard and unfold in less than two hours. But better yet, for a fully furnished home, it's less than $50,000. Container Homes Shipping container homes are affordable and easy to drop in anywhere. They can also look and feel more homey than you'd imagine. Nothing says you can't cover the metal skeleton of the house, both on the inside and outside. Perhaps best of all, you can combine several containers to customize a home to be any shape or size you like. You can check out case studies of shipping container homes built for under $10,000 as affordable, unconventional homeownership alternatives. 
One pro of container homes is that you get an instant, durable, and fairly transportable structure. On the other hand, as a con, you'll still have to put down a foundation, connect to utilities, unless you go off-grid, and we'll have to figure out how to keep the structure from getting too hot or cold. Yurt Nomads in Central Asia have been using yurts as portable shelters for thousands of years, and today, they're seeing a sort of resurgence among people who want a structure that is relatively easy to assemble, affordable, and portable. A yurt is like a much sturdier, much larger take on a tent or teepee that can be customized with windows, a fireplace, and a deck. Normally, they offer anywhere from 115 to 700 square feet of living space. Unlike the months or years it takes to build a traditional home, you can set up a yurt in a matter of days, typically one to five, depending on the skill of your crew. In addition, yurts can be taken down, moved, and set up in another location. Park models. A more viable alternative is something known as a park model. A new park model can cost more than $25,000. A previously owned one can be bought for somewhat less depending on its condition and amenities. These units basically are smaller versions of mobile homes that are more easily towed. It can be placed either in an RV park, mobile home park, or on your own land. Unlike recreational vehicles, they have standard plumbing in their bathrooms, which implies you don't have to dump tanks like an RV. Because some RV parks allow them, owners can pay far less for lot rents and have all the benefits of RV park living. For example, owners won't have to cater for water and sewer, lawn care, or taxes. These units are often 14 feet wide by 30 feet long, providing much more room than most little houses and are legal to tow on U.S. highways. They're similar to small one-bedroom, one-bathroom apartments and can offer a decent but less spacious alternative to houses. And with that said, you now know the alternatives to home ownership. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you enjoyed our video and be sure to give us a thumbs up and share it. And also subscribe to our channel and ring the notification to get notified when we upload new and interesting content. And until next time, goodbye.